All right, what's up Dragon Brew? Today we have a really interesting treat because for those of you who don't know, Beyond Meat is a company that basically takes extracts of plant things and turns them into meat things. So you get meat without having an animal. Weird science. But they've actually made a bunch of different things around meat from chicken to beef to I think like taco crumble to like a bunch of different stuff. But now they actually have beef jerky. And to me, this is a little bit more of a test of like, can this hold up to dehydration and everything else to still taste like beef jerky? Or more importantly, feel like beef jerky. Because that's usually the big problem is that these plant-based jerkies still don't feel like actual meat. So let's take a look at what we've got. Today, I've got a pack here of Beyond Meat and this is their jerky. Uh, this is the teriyaki flavor. So if you want to get a look at that there, but yeah, this is apparently you can pick this up in convenience stores. Now I've seen people talking about seeing it at the grocery store. I ordered mine online just from their website. Uh, and I think when you order online, we had to get 10 packs. It gives you five teriyaki and five regular. So that's something to think about. Uh, as far as ingredients, uh, this serving size is one, uh, one package. So the whole thing, and it's got 90 calories, 3% of your saturated fats. So you're talking about two grams no cholesterol, uh, 450 grams of sodium, which is real. I mean, you're going to get salt whenever you're getting beef jerky, uh, 10 grams of carbohydrates, uh, some two grams of fiber, five grams of sugar and 20 milligrams of calcium. So yeah. And you know, 1.9 milligrams of, of iron. Now the bigger thing to me here as when we're talking about the stuff is what's in the ingredients. And there we actually have water, mung bean protein, pea protein, brown sugar, gluten-free oat bran fiber, salt, expeller express, canola oil, and less than 1% of the following. So sugar, vinegar, lemon juice concentrate, pomegranate concentrate, tapioca, uh, garlic powder, onion, onion powder, paprika spice, yeast extract, vegetable juice color, whatever that is, citric acid, and sunflower. So the good thing about this is you can actually pronounce everything that's in here. That's a big deal. But yeah, let's take a take a taste because this is what everybody really wants to know, right? Like, does this taste any good? Is this what we think it's going to be? I also appreciate that while this has a tear tab, it doesn't just like completely rip open because I'm one of those people that tears it and I always lose like the whole side of the package. But yeah, let's uh, before I take a bite, let's take a look at this too to kind of look at the texture to see what we're working with. All right. So it uh, has the appearance of beef jerky. It smells jerky-like. I mean, I was thinking it might have more of a plant chemically smell, but no. I mean, you can smell most of the seasoning and stuff on it, but yeah, for the most part, it, you if somebody blindfolded me, I'd have a hard time telling this wasn't jerky. But let's taste it. You know, the best part about this is that it's not spongy. Because I think that's a thing that happens whenever you get these plant-based meat products or meat substitutes. They don't hold up to the chew and the bite or whatever like you'd normally get in meat, beef turkey. But this, I have to admit... It feels like they got the texture right. Like, yeah. I mean, funny as it is, I'm actually not the biggest fan of the teriyaki flavor that they're using. But the meat itself still tastes okay. The texture is still very good. And surprisingly, these were slightly cheaper than it was to buy regular beef jerky. So that's the other thing. I mean, I think these were somewhere around like a buck eighty a pack or something, which is pretty nice. So, yeah, I don't know. This is this is interesting. I expected it to be worse than this. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say, but it actually was really, really nice. So yeah, I'm trying to think what I can compare it to for you. But 
truthfully, it compares very favorably to a lot of beef jerkies that I've had. The, again, the only thing I would say is I'm probably going to be a bigger fan of their regular. Okay, y'all. This is a uh, future me, past me. I don't know how this works. Magic of editing. But I was going to go ahead and edit and put the video up. But then I found out I was able to get my hands on this regular version or original, if you will. So I figured I'm going to go ahead and try this one too and tell you what I think the difference is between the original and the teriyaki. And which one we like more. So again... Still looks like beef jerky. I mean, it, it literally looks like, you know, you would expect beef jerky to look. So that's actually really nice. Uh, not as red as the other one, but that's from the teriyaki sauce or seasoning, I'm sure. Still has that chew like you expect the beef jerky to have. Yeah, I like this one way more. Way more. There's something about the teriyaki that's either, I don't know, like maybe also has a fake smoke seasoning or something in there. That there's something that tastes different. That it's not like gross. It's not like completely off-putting. Like I'll still eat it. But I like the original way more. And I, and I guess in lieu of having the teriyaki sauce, they have some other spices in here. A little, little pepperiness I could taste. And that's actually really good. But yeah, so there you go. Um, either one. I'm a big fan of this, though. I, I'm probably going to eat more of this because I'm not a vegetarian by any stretch. I'm definitely a meat eater. I like steaks, you know, whatever. But I do like eating healthier, right? So if I want another option and I don't want something so heavy or maybe I've already eaten a bunch earlier, but I just want to snack on some jerky, this is going to be kind of probably be the thing I go to. So I'm probably going to be keeping some of these around. Like I said, it wasn't very expensive per bag. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of into this. I'm surprising this tastes this good. But definitely, for me anyway, the original over the teriyaki, for sure. Yeah, the fact that this can be found in grocery stores and convenience stores now, I would say give it a go. It's affordable. It's worth trying. And I would say just on the safe side, try the original so you're getting the actual more of the taste of the meat and everything else is probably going to be a better try for you. But if you've never had meat substitutes of this kind, this, uh, I don't know what we call this, alternative meat, I would say this is probably a safe way to try it out. Because I know some people look and say, ah, whole beef patty or whatever, and I don't know if I want to change my whole recipe for this. And that's understandable. But this is a good way to sample it. It's cheap. Try it out. I think it's worth it. But hey, if y'all have tried it out, let me know what you think about it down in the comments, because I'm curious. This is still a whole new product for me. But yeah, I'd, I'd be curious if other people enjoyed it or not. And as always, remember, like, subscribe, share. That's all I have for you for now. We'll see you next time.